good morning we will be discussing about epan today epan is electronic pre arrival notification for singapore so this is how you will have to send your readiness to singapore so i'll show you how it is done this is the epan this is the 2021 version so if i click it they'll give you this whole format so before that they will discuss how to send it and as they say it takes around 10 minutes it's approximately 10 minutes you'll be able to do the whole thing now how you send it is you can enter all your details here once all the details are entered then there is 1 2 and 3 places where you have to save the basic theory is once you completely fill this you should save the file see this option save the data save it as a dot dat after you save it as a dot dat you can exit the epen and whenever you want to come back and send it you can just retrieve the data and put it as a final save so let us try and understand how to fill out the epen now this is a uh, epen that i have written it uh, so that we can save some time so first things remember all the uh, red color star marks are mandatory fields so i have just put in my ship name all the details i have put in next comes the voyage this is important the ship where is it arriving from so basically you will be if you are following the tss you will be arriving from west or east so right now i will take it as from the east then which port facility you are going to so this is the list of all the singapore port that is covered by epan so let me take as c k is keppel p is pasir panjang and b is brani so let us take pasir panjang and if there it is a different you can always have the option to save it somewhere here then the expected date this date is basically the time and date is given by your agent before your arrival so you will have to wait for the agent to give you this information expected date of arrival and expected date of departure so let us take it as 14 and departure this times these two timings are to be provided by your agent then the purpose of call you can select any number of uh, information so i am taking just i am uh, loading or discharging cargo then uh, description of the cargo and next comes if there is any dg cargoes so if i click yes then i will have to send 24 hours before the declaration to the local agent so i can select it as yes then comes the security related information these are the last 10 port of calls this if you have to add an row you can just click here or if you want to remove you just click it and click here that means that row is removed so that i have filled 9 so the 10th i'll show you the dates you can just choose it like this it's very easy and the port also you have to select the security level the security level is 1 2 or 3 3 you won't be having any cargo operation so basically it will be 1 or 2 so i'll just put 1 here next comes any ship to ship operations so if you have anything you have to click it then comes 
if there is private security on board your ship also if there is any stowaway then comes the declaration of arms if you are having any arms then uh, certificate of insurance clc certificate for tankers and international ship security classification certificate this so then uh, this you have to fill it up next comes the green port program if your vessel is going to be using the lng so and uh, next comes the ballast water convention so uh, all this you have to just fill it out now if you select uh, yes then comes all the options so you can use the following options d1 d2 d3 uh, d1 d2 and d4 so we are basically at d1 next comes the sulfur limit how you are going to control the sulfur limit and mm, then comes you should not be using if you are going to use any drones or something then the person who is going to submit it this two is basically the person who is giving the declaration and the name of the master so i'll just fill it out so i have filled up these following columns next comes how to save it so you won't be using the first place you will be using save so save you will be doing it in the format of dot dat you can see this extension here so this is the format you will be saving your file into so let us save the file how I will use it is I will select the folder to save it then comes the file name so I am just putting the file name and an extension as dot dat so once I save this the a confirmation is being asked I will just press ok so this file has been practically saved now whenever I want to send this file I just have to load this file again and send it so remember this is not the final save it is just the save now I will show you something else if I go to a epan again I am opening a new epan so the first option see all this informations are blank I will go to retrieve the data so once I click the browse folder you can see what happens I'm pressing the browse once I press the browse the place where I saved I can either go back and show you so I saved it in brother so I can just go and click and select the jodat file so once I load it you can see what is going to happen once I load they'll give you the file is loaded successfully and the whole thing is available here for my editing so if I want to edit I can always go back edit and again save the data as a dot dat file if I don't want to save it I can f make it as a final save for submission for the final save I will have to change the file name to dot xml so again I will have to finally save it they will give you the option of final save with a folder name so in this folder your file is getting saved and this file you have to attach to your email so I'll show you how it is done so I'll just click I'll be saving in the same place I saved so the file name will be 
जो डॉट एक्स एम एल सो दिस मीन्स देर इज नो मोर एडिटिंग आई एम गोइंग टू डू इन दिस फाइल सो आई जस्ट गिव इट एज अ फाइनल सेव सॉरी सो आई एम प्रेसिंग द फाइनल सेव ओके सो इफ आई एम हैविंग एनी इशूज विथ एनी ऑफ द फॉर्म्स दे विल जस्ट टेल मी वेर आई हैड मेड द मिस्टेक सो दिस इज अ मिस्टेक सो आई विल हैव टू फिल इट अप एज यू कैन सी आई फॉर गॉट टू फिल दिस अप सो आई कैन जस्ट पुट वन एंड अगेन सेव इट वन से सेव इट again i had made a mistake so once i corrected the mistakes i'll just do the final save so the xml has been successfully generated now i'll show you where that file is basically available so now once you finish the pan remember whenever you make a mistake the pan will automatically guide you to correct your mistakes so once you completely fill it up and save it to the xml format you can just go to the folder and send it so let me show you where that file has been generated to so once i click the place you can see this is the first dot dat file that i had generated and this is the dot xml so this file you will be sending to singapore i'll just open it and show it to you it's all coded and this is how it looks like so once it has been generated basically you are good to go and send it to singapore i hope you got a good understanding about how to fill out the epen and how to make the dot dat as well as the dot xml formats we, we normally get confused in this thing so once you do it it's very easy to send it thank you